Well, hello again, good people of Room 8. And welcome back to another exciting edition of Room 8 on YouTube. And so what we are going to begin with this unit is getting ready for banking and our exploration of banking and expanding our knowledge of banking is going to begin with calculations of simple interest. But before we do that, I wanted to give you some background information. Some of you are in a completely different uh, math world than those uh, in the upper grade levels. I know we've got a lot of seventh graders in the class. And even for some of the upperclassmen, maybe just a quick review of using decimals, percentages, and fractions could be of benefit. So if it's too easy, that's good. Otherwise, it's never, uh, it's never a bad idea just to review to make sure you have these basic fundamental math facts, uh, have a good grasp of that. So what we'll do is we'll just take a look at converting decimals to percents and percents to decimals and then also uh, take a look at fractions. And we want to become very familiar with using percentages because percentages are used throughout the banking world. They're used in business all the time. And so having a firm understanding of percentages and the relationship to decimals and fractions is very important uh, to moving on with uh, some of the other uh, knowledge that you will need to obtain as you move through your life. So let's start off with converting some decimals to percentages. And so what you can do is just go ahead and create a little worksheet just like this. Convert these decimals to percent, and I've got listed 1 through 12, and then we'll go ahead and put some numbers in. So if you want, go ahead and pause the video and just quickly create this little worksheet right here. And you can go ahead and start a new workbook and call that workbook Banking. B-A-N-K-I-N-G. Banking. Well, let's start with our first value. Start with the decimal value of 3.5. Now, you do know from our previous lessons that we can simply come up here and convert that decimal value to percentage by clicking percent. And that is correct, 350%. But we want to back up and understand what is happening with this particular calculation. So I'm going to come back and put that into a general format again. There it is in decimal format. And that 3.5 equaled 350%. So what does that mean? Percent means per 100. And so to convert a decimal to a percentage, you simply multiply the decimal by 100. So if I were to come over here and want to calculate the percentage value, I could simply say equals that 3.5 times 100. And that is 350%. Now I am going to go ahead and put the word percent here so that we know that we're talking about percent because 350% is different than 350. Let's do another one. 0.67 equals 0.67 times 100, 67%. I want to keep in mind that technically it should have that percent symbol next to it, but we're making our column heading as percent, so we don't have to do that. Just know that it's 67%. So you can see here what we've done is that we have moved the decimal place two places to the right. 0.67 became 1, 2, became 67 to convert it to a percent. Well, let's do another one, 1 1.2. What would that value be if we moved the decimal place two places to the right? Yes, it would. 120. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. 120%. Eight point oh one two. I hear you saying it. That would be eight hundred one point two percent. Now, if you want to check your work, just simply come back here and click 
and come up to Excel and use the shortcut button. Increase it by one decimal place, and there it is, 801.2%. Let's go ahead and do the rest of these that I have listed here. Point one six three nine. What percent value would that be? Decimal place two places to the right, which is the effect of multiplying it by 100. And that would be... 16.39%. Make sure you say percent, at least to yourself each time. Make sure you're paying attention to that because 350%, for example, or let's stick with our 16.39. 16.39% is different than 16.39. way you can tell that is if you were to take this value here and convert it to a percent, you will see it is much larger. 1,639%. That's not what we want. So we're going to say percent for everything here. One more and then I'll put the list there and you can go ahead and practice. 2.05 would be 205%. Okay, I'll go ahead and put the rest here, and when you finish those, you can just have me come by and take a look at them. You know what? For clarification, we should just put the word decimal here, too, and make this very clear what we are trying to accomplish. There you go. All right, go ahead and finish the rest of those on your own, and then I will come by and take a look at those. And then we'll move on to converting percent values to decimal values. Moving on, let's convert percent values to decimal values. So we'll place our values that we're going to call percents here in the percent column, and then we will do a conversion to decimals. So if you don't have this typed up, go ahead and pause the video and quickly create that and then come on back and we will continue. Let's start with a quick, quick review of where we left off previously where we converted decimals to percentages. And you went in here and did the effect of multiplying 1.3425, for example, times 100. And multiplying by 100 has the effect of moving that decimal place two places to the right. And then you got pretty quick with it and realized I can just look at this and move my decimal place two places to the right without too much trouble. And 600.7. And so hopefully those are the values that you came up with. So now we can take a look at the opposite. We want to go from percent to decimals. So if we multiplied to go from decimal to percent, the opposite of multiplication is division. And so we will divide by 100. So let's put in some numbers. Let's start with 58. 58% 58 would be what decimal value? What decimal value would that be? So right now we're looking at 58.0. Remember that decimal point's there, even though you can't see it. In fact, if, it, if we wanted to, we could make it look like that. So now we need the decimal point to go two places to the left, the effect of that being division. So, equal sign, there's our percent value divided by 100, and it should equal 0.58. And there it is. So dividing by 100 is going to move our decimal point two places to the left. Let's try another one. 329%. That's 329.0. If I move that decimal point two places to the left, I should come up with 3.29. 
So 329% is the decimal equivalent of 3.29. Let's try 62. 62.0%. Divide that by 100. Move the decimal point two places to the left. 0.62. And one more. And if you do want to check your work, there's 133. What decimal value was 133? Well, if you forget how many decimal places, divide it by 100. Divided by 100 should give us 1.33. There we go. Now make sure you ask questions, get any clarification you need. Let me give you some to practice. And then I'll come around and I can check your work. And if you want to check your own work, you should have come up with 9% equal to 0 0.09, 85 equal to 0 0.85, 13.5% equal to 0 0.135, 355% is equal to 3.55, 24.26% is equal to 0.2426 decimal value. 0.65% is equal to 0 0.0065. Not sure if that's right. Divide it by 100. 0.65 divided by 100. 0 0.0065. And 2.15 would be 0 0.0215. 2.15% is equal to 0 0.0215. And the last one, 160% is equal to 1.60. Let's take a look at an application of converting percents to decimals and also going from fractions to decimals to percent to help us see how putting something in terms of percent makes it a lot easier to, to understand the magnitude or the size of the value. For example, here in this list, the instructions are take all of these values and place them in ascending order or increasing order. So starting with the smallest value up to the largest value. So a quick look at this, if I were to ask you, well, which one of these values here is the smallest? You'd have to do a little bit of thinking. You'd be able to figure it out, but it wouldn't be quick, at least not for me. But let's go to the process of converting everything to a percentage and uh, see what the difference would be and you'll see that it's a whole lot easier. Now some of these are fractions. Let's do those first. Quick review of fractions. One half is the same thing as one divided by two. One forward slash two. One divided by two. One half. What's the decimal value? We could just simply do that arithmetic. Equal sign one divided by two. 0.5. So what we will do is go ahead and put everything in decimal values first in this column. So I'm going to go ahead and do the fractions first. Equals 1 divided by 3. Uh, 7 eighths is equal to 7 divided by 8. 3 sevenths equals 3 divided by 7. And... 4 fifths equals 
4 divided by 5, and the last one equals 3 divided by 8. Make sure you practice those. Don't just type in my answers. Practice. Do the actual division using Excel. Now, for the rest of these, we could just copy over these values. And then our last step is to convert them to percents. Now, right now it would be a lot easier to sort these in increasing or ascending order. So take a guess, which one of those is the smallest value? Well, I'm going to guess this one right here. Let's find out. Let's convert that to a percent. Decimal to percent. Multiply times 100 or simply move the decimal place two places to the right. So 0.01 is going to become 10 percent. Well, that was just a tiny bit embarrassing. It is not 10. It should be 1. 1, 2, it's 1 not 10. Sorry about that. I'm getting too old and too tired. 0.258 will be, well, I'm going to let you go through and do these. I'll do this last one and then you go through and do the rest. 25.8%. So I'll go ahead and pause here and let you go ahead and finish those all down. Multiply every one of those by 100 to get the decimal value to a percent value. Here we go. Do it the long way. Just to review, 2.4 times 100. 240%. Point five is fifty percent. Thirty three point three 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 is thirty three point three 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 percent. Three point six is three hundred sixty percent. Eighty seven point five percent. Forty two point eight five seven one percent. Seventy two percent. Eighty three point five percent. And point 0.8 is 80%. Last one, 37.5%. Check your values. If you need any help with that or clarification, be sure to ask. Well, let's go ahead now and put these things in ascending order. That means largest to smallest, or smallest to largest, increasing order. Which number here do you see is the smallest value? See, it was a little challenging when we were looking at all of this to quickly tell, but now it's quite obvious that 10 is the smallest value. So I'm going to put that number first. The next number, what's the next largest number in ascending order? Looks like that 25 right there. So this time I'm going to press Control C to copy, Control V to paste. And the next value looks like 33. Control C, Control V. There we go. So go ahead and finish that. You should end up with right here 360 is being the largest value control C control V so go ahead and continue to put the rest of those in ascending order we'll come by and take a look at your work and then that will conclude this introduction 
the decimals, percentages, and a little bit about fractions as we begin our exploration in the world of banking and borrowing money. <laughs> 